Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. This episode is entitled Skills versus Knowledge versus Learning versus Training. In the ever-evolving landscape of education and the workforce, the distinction between skills and knowledge has become increasingly vital. We find ourselves at a juncture where traditional ideas about the supremacy of knowledge are being challenged by the dynamic demands of the modern world. This podcast explores this paradigm shift and delves into the significance of skills in the age of artificial intelligence and information abundance. In the not-so-distant past, knowledge was often considered the ultimate currency of success. The possession of extensive facts, figures, and information was seen as a valuable asset. However, the world is changing and the rules of the game are shifting. Artificial intelligence with its ability to access, analyze, and process vast amounts of information at lightning speed has altered the equation. It has ushered in an air eye where knowledge, once confined to the domain of human minds, is now accessible to anyone with a smartphone and an internet connection. This democratization of knowledge has disrupted traditional hierarchies of expertise. Consider this, knowing the principles of physics or having memorized historical dates might once have set you apart. Now, with a few taps on a screen, that information is at your fingertips. Knowledge is in many ways free and everywhere. The value of possessing a stockpile of facts has diminished. This transformation underscores the emerging importance of skills. Skills, unlike knowledge, are not easily replaced by artificial intelligence. Skills are the practical application of know-how the ability to perform specific tasks, to solve problems, and to create something tangible. Skills, quite simply, are what humans can do. Take riding a bicycle as an example. The knowledge of how a bicycle works is important, but it's the skill of balancing, pedaling, and navigating that makes you a proficient cyclist. Skills are etched into muscle memory, and once acquired, they tend to endure. They are honed through practice, experience, and often failure. They represent the ability to execute, adapt, and innovate in the rapidly changing job market where new industries and technologies emerge regularly. Adaptability and the ability to learn new skills quickly are paramount. Those who can pivot and acquire new skills are the ones who will thrive in this landscape. The toolbox of skills a person possesses becomes a versatile asset allowing them to navigate different industries and roles. Moreover, skills are transferable. While knowledge may be specific to a particular domain, skills often transcend boundaries. Uh, the problem-solving skills honed in mathematics can be applied in coding, physics, or business analysis. The ability to communicate effectively is valuable in any profession. As we move forward into the new economy, it's becoming increasingly clear that the most valuable employees and individuals will be those with a robust set of skills. These skills enable them to harness knowledge effectively, adapt to changing circumstances, and create meaningful contributions in a world where information is abundant and the ability to act on it is paramount. This shift invites us to reevaluate the way we approach education and career development. Emphasizing skills alongside knowledge is not just a strategic choice, it's a necessity for thriving in the future. It's a call to embrace lifelong learning, to cultivate a diverse range of skills, and to recognize that skills, not just knowledge, are the true currency of the evolving world. It does skills versus learning. In a rapidly evolving educational landscape, it becomes imperative to delineate the contours that distinguish skills from learning a discussion that travels deep into the heart of pedagogical philosophies. Defining skills. Skills are specific abilities acquired through training and practice. They are technical proficiencies 
that can be measured and evaluated with a clear set of parameters. Skills are often task-specific, honing a person's capacity to perform a specific job or activity proficiently. From coding to graphic designing, skills embrace the technical proficiencies demanded by specific roles in the workplace and life. Skills are more physical, whereas knowledge is more mental. The two are connected, but you can have a skill without any knowledge behind the actual workings of the skill itself. For example, I can know how to snowboard without any knowledge of the physics involved with how to steer, go fast, or even stop a snowboard. Another example would be a masterful gardener who has no idea about horticulture, yet her gardens are the most beautiful in the city. Defining learning. Learning, on the other hand, is a more expansive concept. It encompasses a broad spectrum of knowledge assimilation, including the acquisition of skills. Learning is about understanding, comprehension, and the assimilation of knowledge in a way that nurtures a person's ability to think, analyze, and apply the acquired knowledge in diverse situations. Learning fosters critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity, constructing a bedrock upon which skills can be built. The intersection and divergence. While skills and learning are interdependent, weaving a rich tapestry of education, they also diverge in their focus. Skills concentrate on the how, the application, the practice, and the execution. In contrast, learning navigates the realms of why and the understanding, the rationale, and the conceptual underpinnings that foster a deeper understanding of subjects. Learning nurtures curiosity, encouraging learners to question, explore, and delve deep into topics, fostering a lifelong passion for knowledge. It is through the lens of holistic learning that skills can be understood, appreciated, and effectively utilized. The Balancing Act. In an educational framework, it is crucial to balance skills and learning. While it is essential to arm students with specific skills to navigate the professional landscape successfully, fostering a deep-seated love for learning can create individuals who are adaptable critical thinkers ready to evolve with the changing dynamics of the world. Skills versus training. As we traverse further, the discussion takes us to an exploration of skills vis-a-vis -vis training, a narrative integral in forming a competent individual ready to face the world's realities. Uh, defining training, training is a structured process aimed at developing specific skills or competencies in individuals. It is a guided pathway, often with a clear outline of objectives and milestones to help individuals acquire the technical knowledge and abilities necessary for a particular job or task. Training is, in essence, a facilitator of skill acquisition, following a structured curriculum that targets proficiency in designated areas. The relationship between skills and training. Uh, skills and training are closely intertwined, often existing in a symbiotic relationship. Training programs are crafted to nurture specific skills, guided by expert insights and practical experiences to forge professionals adept at particular tasks beyond training, the evolution of skills. Yet, the acquisition of skills often transcends formal training environment. Skills evolve and refine with experience, practice, and real-world applications. While training can lay the foundation, it is the continued application and honing of these skills in real-life situations that truly cultivate mastery. The Diverse Landscape of Skill Acquisition In today's digital age, skill acquisition is no longer confined to formal training environments. Online platforms, boot camps, and self-paced learning avenues offer fertile grounds for skill cultivation, marking a shift towards a more autonomous, learner-centered approach to skill development. As we steer towards the future, the nuanced understanding of skills and learning, skills and training become the guiding lights, illuminating the pathways of educational reform. It is not just about imparting skills, but fostering a rich environment of learning where curiosity critical thinking, and a zest for knowledge prevail. Moreover, it acknowledges the evolving landscapes of skill acquisition where training metamorphoses from 
structured environments to fluid, digitally enriched spaces, urging us to rethink and reshape educational paradigms to foster individuals who are not just skilled, but carry the flame of learning, ready to illuminate the world with their knowledge and abilities. Certainly, learning a skill such as dribbling a basketball embodies a tactile and iterative process fundamentally grounded in physicality. The teacher's role is pivotal, demonstrating the precise stance, the controlled yet fluid movement of the wrists, and the vigilant eye coordinating the body with the ball's movement. It is a symphony of motions that must be coordinated perfectly to achieve the fluid dribbling that distinguishes seasoned players. And however, learning a skill transcends beyond mere demonstration. It enters a realm where the student, guided yet alone, grapples with the intricacies of the skill. It is a space brimming with trials and errors, with stumbles and fumbles as constant companions. Each fall is not a failure, but a lesson, a guiding post that propels the student further, forging a path of relentless perseverance until mastery is achieved. The court becomes both a teacher and a student's canvas, a space of unyielded efforts where sweat paints stories of progress painted through persistence and time dedicated to mastering the physicality of dribbling. Contrastingly, the acquisition of knowledge operates in a markedly different sphere. It is less about the doing and more about the absorbing a journey that unfurls in classrooms through lectures, readings, and demonstrations. It is within the mental landscapes that knowledge finds its dwelling, fostered through intellectual engagements with theories, principles, and conceptual frameworks. It is less physical and more cerebral, a nurtured understanding sculpted through intellectual discourse, analysis, and reflection, often devoid of the physical engagement that defines skill acquisition. Yet it would be a disservice to entirely divorce knowledge and skill, you know, for they exist in a delicate dance, often complementing each other in nuanced ways. The theoretical knowledge gleaned from a book might inform the strategy a basketball player employs on the court, just as the physical mastery of dribbling can offer profound insights that transcend into life lessons, embodying a testimony to the power of perseverance, resilience, and dedication. As we navigate the realms of learning, it is pivotal to recognize the unique pathways of skill acquisition and knowledge development. While one pulsates with physical vitality, embodying a testament to the harmonious dance of body and mind. The other operates in the contemplative spaces of intellect, offering a deep well of understanding that can guide actions and foster wisdom. Yet together, they offer a rich tapestry of learning, weaving a narrative of growth grounded in both physical mastery and intellectual depth. A student can demonstrate their learning in so many more ways than just tests and quizzes. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope we can innovate and improve your teaching practice together. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating 